You've got all these Conservative MPs queuing up to really stick their noses into a trough, if they can. And I just caught myself preparing to argue to you, not necessarily with you, that you shouldn't be that shocked by this because it's obvious what they do. This is going to be interesting. I, I appear to have changed my mind already and it's six minutes after 11. What order should we play it in? I quite like... Let's start with Matt Hancock, shall we? Because I don't think he can be punished. He's still not got the whip, hasn't he, after his adventures in the jungle? So you remember Matt Hancock, you know, the, the fellow who did the thing and then lied about that thing and then at the thing. The last one was literal. Do you have a daily rate at the moment? No, I do. I do, yes. It's 10,000 sterling. Didn't hang about, did he? I mean, you should... I, 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 just to have a listen to that again. I mean, you might hum and haw a little, but what exactly would you require me to do? And obviously this is edited. What would, what would you... Led by donkeys, you'll be aware of. Um, it's, uh, it's some former advertising executives who've taken it upon themselves to do things that, frankly, newspapers should be doing but can't because they're so tied up with the, with the Johnson stroke Tory stroke Brexit project. And they approached a bunch of MPs with an offer that was too good to be believed. You know what you should do if something is too good to be true? <laughs> you should probably not believe it. But hey-ho, just listen to how quick he is on this. It's, I mean, it's not like, well, you know, old boy, um, I, I don't know. What are you, what are you, what are you... Do you have a daily rate at the moment? No, I do. I do, yes. It's 10,000 sterling. Gosh. The chairman of the powerful 1922 committee, Sir Graham Brady, also boasted about how he'd be able to slip away from the commons to do work on behalf of this business. And to quote him, he said, emergency occasions if something dramatic was happening in British politics. I was thinking something like £60,000. £60,000. Uh, as an annual, oh. as an annual right? OK. That's you certainly... think that's far too cheap, let me know. There's something quite unseemly about this, isn't there? I don't mean the numbers. I'm thinking about the tone of voice. I mean, he sounds like a character in Only Fools and Horses. I was thinking something like £60,000. Damn, I could have asked for more. That's, you think that's far too cheap, let me know. Do you have a daily rate at the moment? No, I do. Yeah. I do, yes. Yeah. It's 10000 sterling. Bang. Don't mess with me. I'm Matt Hancock. Absolutely no access to power anymore and a completely disgraced politician in many, many ways. Famous chiefly for being photographed snogging my mistress on my own CCTV and eating marsupial genitalia in the Australian outback. But for £10,000 a day, <clears throat> I'm yours. As an MP, obviously I don't need to uh, create, you know, earn a, a king's ransom. But I'm looking, I would do anything less than for about $10,000 a month. What might you get in return for this considerable consideration, Quasi? Boris Johnson. Mm -hmm. It's the best campaign that mm -hmm. you will ever see. Wow, I mean, we're hoping to meet him someday, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you will. I mean, we, 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 let's talk. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure we could try and arrange that. Oh, sounds good. I mean, I'll let him. I'm not pressing any, but he's, he's uh, someone I know. He's a great guy. Kwasi Kwarteng was sacked as Chancellor after 38 days because his so-called mini-budget last September caused an economic meltdown. I'll tell you what's really upset me. It, it's the idea that they think they're worth it, isn't it? That these are the people who are, in the large part, resisting a pay rise for nurses or junior doctors or have been doing so. They think they're worth it. Have, 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 and, and this is a bloke who, I mean, he can't even get his story straight when he's asked how much he wants paying. I would say, um, as an MP, obviously I don't need to uh, create, you know, it, earn a, a king's ransom. But I'm looking, I would do anything less than for about $10,000 a month. Dollars or pounds? Well, pounds. Pounds, 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 sure, pounds. Okay. pounds. It's still worth a bit more, despite my best month. efforts as Chancellor of the Exchequer yeah. to bring them down to parity or to actually bring the pound lower than the dollar. It's still, I still, yeah, pound. So I was going to ask how much you care. I'm not, because if you don't care, you're, you're silly. And listen, it's happened to Labour politicians in the past. You can perhaps get a bit unhappy with um, led by donkeys for focusing on Tories. But who's going to pay a Labour politician for proximity to power when they're not in power? So it's a different sort of sting. 
uh, I, I forget precisely when it was, at some point prior to 2010, there was a raft of former Labour cabinet ministers who got caught up in something similar. But that's not the point. The point here is, I think, the fact that these particular characters think that they're worth it. What do they think they are providing? In their minds, when they go home at the end of the day to their wives or their mistresses or, I don't know, their concubines, they go home at the end of the day and they, they say, well, I've just been offered £10,000 a day by a South Korean company. And their partner says, what for, darling? You clever old so-and-so, you. You won't have to eat any kangaroo testicles this time, will you? No, I mean, literally, I've just £10,000 a day just for talk. What, what, are you get, what, are you, what are they getting, Matt? What, what do they get in return, Quasi? So, all right, that's wonderful, Graham. But what, what do you do? In, what did they get in your mind? Because I can see that they might have persuaded themselves, if the company was real, that you really can set up a tea party with Boris Johnson or you can... Because you're not allowed to lobby. That's against the, the rules, as Owen Patterson discovered. So in what passes for Matt Hancock's conscience or Kwasi Kwarteng's intellect or Sir Graham Brady's inner contemplations, what do they think they're providing in return for these frankly, astronomical sums of money.